Hi, Linda Bowen here with StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today I'm going to do an eclipse card, and it's a little bit different than what you may have been seeing um, with the large letters. Instead, I am going to be using the stitched shapes and two of the celebration, the lots of lavender and celebrate you of thinlets, and amazing you a stamp set. So let's go ahead and get started. What I um, need to do first is I need to stamp the lavender um, flowers and I am going to be using the early espresso um, because I am using a piece of crumb cake I just think that the early espresso is a great um, base and so I'm just going to take those flowers lay it down because it's the photopolymer, I am using my paper piercing a mat. So I've got that. Next, I am going to go in with the rich razzleberry. I'm gonna go ahead and close up um, that early espresso. And I am going to ink the flowers and then I'm just going to place them on top. One thing nice about two-step stamping, if you don't get it exactly on, it is okay. Kind of dark. I may have used um, a different color for my original card. I may have been using um, Berry Bliss, but I think that this is going to work just fine. I'm going to take my little bow. I am using the Daffodil Delight. I have inked that. And I'm going to remove my block. Um, if you've watched another video, you know that I am down here in Florida and I only brought one of each size block and I am really being challenged with um, just the one block because I have so many back home, but it is very easy to take them on and off. And so I'm just taking um, now my leaves. I am using the wild wasabi and inking those leaves. Next what I'm going to do is go in and get that U. The U again is from Celebrate, no from Amazing U is the stamp set. Again a celebration um, stamp set. So isn't the lavender that I just used. So I'm going to take the U, put that on my block, stamp it right about there. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in that big shot and I am going to cut out let's see if we can get this in here I am going to cut out with my I know it's here my stitched shape um, circle so I'm just going to lay that piece down and decide where I want to cut it. I think I want to cut it right about there. I'll run that through my big shot and try not to jiggle my table too much. Next what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in the striped embossing folder. This is found in the occasions catalog. Now I'm going to pop this out and I am not going to use the circle part. I'm just going to be using this part and I'm going to bring in that folder and it's got the stripes but I want the stripes to go diagonally. So I'm just going to lay that in my folder like so. I'm going to remove that thin adapter plate, put down my bottom cutting mat and my top and run that through the big shot. And so what it does, it gives the embossed look on just the part without the circle or with the circle cut out. So it kind of makes that eclipse stand out. Now I see I have, didn't watch where my 
how my embossing folder was, so I'm going to have a little bit different look than what I had on my sample, which is great. Um, showing you the two different sides of your embossing folder. So I'm bringing in a piece of rich razzleberry. This measures four inches by five and a quarter, and I apologize for my rough edges on my paper. I have my personal trimmer down here with me, and I am in need of blades, which are going to be on an order that's coming up um, this coming week. So I've got the hole. I'm going to go ahead and put a dimensional in there. I'm going to bring back that piece we cut out, and we can offset it or we can put it right on. And I think I'm gonna add another dimensional just so that it pops out more. I'm gonna put it right on. But there you have that eclipse look um, with a cutout. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in the Amazing. Now, I've already run this through my Big Shot. This is one of the dies from um, the Celebrate You and I have used that adhesive sheet and I'm just going to peel that off and just put that right on top like so. Bring in a five and a half by eight and a half piece of that crumb cake and mount that on. And I'm going to show you the difference. One of them I embossed out and one of them I embossed in. So this is the, my sample that I did and it's got the embossing going out. And I think what I did with this one, I stamped off. I did not on this one. I did full strength. But see, it's embossed in. So it gives you a totally different look. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and you join me again real soon. Bye-bye.